we're playing some to quit a song so that while we are waiting for others to join as well. And uh, we'd like to thanks for your presence. Is there anyone that is the first time among us in our Zoom session today? I think all the faces, all the names are uh, old ones. So I'm gonna invite our brother Benika, please, to lead us in an opening prayer. Okay, Matondo Masaka, brother to Samba, um, dear brothers and sisters, I think the time has arrived for us to start our, our meeting for today. So I would like to invite all of you for the prayer. We will start off by praying through the book of Psalm, chapter 71, 1 up to 8. What a very powerful prayer. Um, we are busy praying. And then we'll follow, we'll proceed with the prayer, followed prayer, but in our Bantu language, the Congo. Um, Psalm Psalm 71. 71. 71, yeah. 71. Yes. Uh, verse, yeah, verse 1 up to the end, up to 8. Verse okay. 1 to 8. We will pray. You can also follow within your heart. Your mic is off, brother. Oh, sorry. Let me just connect my... Yes, can you hear me yes, we can, we can. I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give me the command to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my Tatanzambi, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Tatanzambi, my confidence since my youth. From my birth, I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Sete kukuzulu, yangula jinadiaku ziti sangwa. Ekintinu kya kukiza, oluzoluluaku lovanganga, ovasine kukuzulu. Utuvane biakwetu, Kwa lumbu ke lumbu, utuloloka masumu metu, endoloka, toloka ngatatu wetu, utufidi komuno pukumini, utuvulu za munambi, kadikiaku e kintinu, yengolo, yonvu, yonvu, amene. Amen, amen. Amen. Mm 
my talk, our Zoom session started now. Uh, today, we'll be talking about something very uh, important and special to all of us that will believe in Hatta and Zambi. Uh, Sister Special, can you just allow me to be the host, please? So that I may share uh, the information. Okay, it should be working now, brother. Yes, it is. Thanks. Can you guys can see the, the presentation of today? Yeah. Okay, Matondo. So as I was saying, today we'll be talking about the secret of prayer according to Mwanda Velela. Mwanda Velela means Holy Spirit. So in this topic, we're gonna discuss what is prayer the benefits of prayer, how and where to pray, how do Tokwista pray, and how does Tokwista woman pray, and then we're gonna finally end up with Tokwista's prayer time. So what is prayer? Prayer is the, the direct line that connects us to heaven. Prayer, I heard from a friend of mine that's so powerful. Prayer is the key which can open any door. Prayer, in another words, is a communication process that allows us to talk, to communicate with Tatanzambi. So we, without prayer, it will be very difficult for us to communicate to Tatanzambi. In prayer, we not only pray or talk with Tatan Zambi, we also, we can also listen and hear what Tatan Zambi say to us. So, and then from there, we can find the benefits of that prayer. But before we jump to the benefits, something we have to take in consideration. More prayer, we gain more power. Less prayer, we're gonna gain less power. So a people or person who follow Tatan Zam, if he doesn't pray a lot, he will be weak. But if we pray a lot, we're gonna be strong and confident with all the weapons to defeat the enemies because the prayer is the key that can open all the doors, because the Bible says, ask, it shall be given, knock, and the door will be open. So what are the benefits of prayer? Through prayers, we can get strength for our spirit, guidance, wisdom, joy, that this joy can be inner peace or outer peace. So we can find all these things, I'm gonna just read, uh, for all of us, you can also follow it. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But before we jump to the benefit of prayer, I would like to all of us to 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 sing quickly. Uh, Brother Benika, be just ready to sing quickly uh, a hymn that was taught to us to, from our ancestors, from Holy Spirit. Uh, it's a very powerful song. We can find it in the Congo uh, in book. It's a number 365. It's written there. It, I put it in the presentation, number 365. If anyone knows this song, can just follow us while we'll be singing. Brother Benika, please. 
Your mic is off. Yes, brother. The number is 365, right? Yes, 365. Okay, let me just find it. Okay. What's another one? Because here it says uh, 20 Kujoni. Well, what is the, the number? Yes, it's this one, 365. Oh, yes. Okay, brother and sister, let's sing a little bit. Uh, yeah, if you know, you can follow also. It's an easy, make quick, easy though. Let's open our heart and let him come in. Senwizi mi kwiki zido o yave nungembelela onkunga wa nubongela mai kama muimbila enkunda ya niwa nwazi gulu kanga
In Bantu language, we say that if you are happy, clap your hands. In Kikongo, we say, When I say, oh, you, you guys will clap your hands. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys please switch on your camera because I can see all of your faces here. So, so that you can, that's a prayer time. Kind of so when, when I say kinako you guys will clap your hands. Okay? Let's go. Vokese kinako o wandon kwasa. O wandon kwasa. O wandon kwasa. O wandon kwasa. Vokese kinako o wandon kwasa. O wandon kwasa. Hallelujah! 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 I can see a few uh, more faces, more people joining us. That is amazing. That was one of the song, Banto song in Kikongo. Brother Benika, can you translate the song, please? Yes, brother. Well, your, ministry, your volume is a little bit down. Can you just... Uh, can you hear me better? Okay. Yes. Uh, pay attention, brothers and sisters. Senuizi Mikwiki Zido. That's the song, that's the title of the song. In English, you say, Come, all the faithful. So it says, Come, all the faithful. That's the meaning of the song. Come, all the faithful. So we can praise Tata. The song that you have, that the song that you have, come together. Be strong to sing it so you can walk around Tata's throne. Let's go to Zion. Together, we will go to Zion, the city of joy, the city of holiness, of pure pureness. All our enemies will be lost. You that follow Tata, raise your voice. Spread, spread the joy and the blessings. All your tears, all your tears, wipe them away. Your suffering will stop. We will all meet in Zion, in the land of Emmanuel. In the land of Emmanuel. Ingeta. Ingeta. Your suffering is gone. So yeah. we there is no more pain and suffering because Tatan Zambi is among us. So mm -hmm. let's uh, go back in our presentation. But before I would like to ask if anyone has a song that would like to sing, 
the floor is also open. That is a, a, a moment of praising Tatan Zambi. If you have a song, I know that Sister Special is very powerful on singing. Sister Sam, Sister Kate, Mamata Mara, Kaisha, Sister Michelle, Sister Randy, uh, Brother Miguel and Sister Kaylee, Mama Laurinda. If anyone wants to sing, the floor is open for everyone. Let us praise Tatan Zambi. I think no one wants to sing today, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I can, if no one else. Um, uh, does everyone know the song, Only You Are Holy? Anyone know that song by Donnie? Yes, I think I do. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, we actually have a closer uh, version as well. Uh, so I'm gonna try and try and uh, let's see if we can give that a try. Apologies for the clicks in advance, but we'll get there with practice. You can get the song. So it goes when I will when I will When I will I get caught on Jay in below, yami yonke ifakaza ngawe. Only you are holy. Only you are holy. Only you are wonderful, for there's no one else like you, who is faithful and the truth. Oh, my love, my heart, my life is a testimony. Siabonga Holy Spirit, you are great, Soninanini, who is like you in all the earth. We haven't seen anyone like you akeko onjenga we akeko njenga we siabonga yeah siabonga 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 is one of South African language that means thank you ah, so much yeah. matondo 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 is anyone that would like to sing as well matondo sister special <laughs> So I think no one wants to sing. So we're gonna continue with our, our presentation. So we were talking about the benefits of prayer. One of the benefits of prayer, as I was saying, it can give us strength, power, wisdom, knowledge, and more opportunity to talk with Tatan Zambi. As I was saying, so while we were singing, something came from my mind that the elders used to, talk, to teach us. They say, who sings praise twice? 
because the songs makes, makes Hazo so be connected with Tatan Zam. So who sings praise twice and more prayer, more power, less prayer, less power. So my question is, do you wanna be strong or do you want to be weak? If you wanna be strong, pray more. So that's the benefits of prayer. We can find it in the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse five and six. I'm gonna read it quickly for you. But in the meantime, you can also follow me. It says, in my disgrace, I prayed to Tatan Zambe, and Tatan Zambe answered me and set me free. Tatan Zambe is for me, so I will fear, I will, I will have no fear. What can merry people do to me? So with prayer, you can find solution that's one of the benefits of prayer solution for your problem confidence that will motivate you to believe more in tatan zam if tatan zam is with you you believe that no one will go against you but prayer makes you to have that strength that inner peace in yourself you can also find it uh the same book of psalm uh, uh, chapter 138, verse 3, there is something very powerful there. The, the uh, King David taught us, it says, it's follow. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me a strength. So we were saying that prayer is the key that can open all the doors. As soon as you pray, Tatan Zambi hears you. You have to pray. You have to believe because as soon as you, you just say, Tatan Zambi, here I am. I came before you. Tatan Zambi is already hearing you and they will solve all your problem, all your everything that you're passing through in your life. Another book that is so powerful that talks about the benefits of prayer is book of Isaiah. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, brother. Yeah. That's book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse nine. You can also follow it. You can follow it. Isaiah 58, verse nine, it says, Verse 9. Then when you call, the Tatan Zambi will answer you. Yes, I am here. He will quickly reply to you. That is one of the powerful benefits through prayer. So if you don't call Tatan Zambi, how do you expect him to come to your life? Before Tatan Zam do something to you, you have to call him. That's why in our Lord's Prayer, we say in Portuguese, we say our Father who art in heaven, we are calling him. So it said, Isaiah was teaching the people, making them to believe that when you call Tatan Zambi in everything you do, Tatan Zambi will hear you. That is prayer. And then our topic of today is we say before that is the prayer according to Mwanda Velela. That's how Mwanda Velela taught us. That's how the Holy Spirit, the prophets, the angels taught us whenever in, any, in anything we, we, we are going through in our life, just go to Tatan Zambi and Tatan Zambi will hear you. And where and how can we pray? Many people pray in their way, in, everywhere 
But the Bible, the Holy Spirit, the Manda Vedala also taught us some secrets how to pray and where to pray. We, our prayer can be long according of it will depend on the situation of all the things that you are praying for. It can be long or it can be short. The prayer can be done alone or in group like us, we are here in Zoom. Our prayer will be done in group. Alone, when you feel like you, you, you want to talk with Tatan Zambi in private, so that's where the question will be, where can you pray? Jesus Christ, Cruz Bakongo, while he was teaching the disciple, he, he gave us a, a secret, where can we pray? The better place for you to pray is not in the public place that people can see you, that people can uh, make interference in your prayer. The better place for you to pray is in a calm place, very quiet place, that there is no interference, a lot of noise. It's better for you to go, as Chris Congo gave us an example, go in your room close the door. You and your father will be speaking, talking, because we say that prayer is the communication or the process, the communication that we can have to talk or listen Tatan Zambe. In your room, you can go very calm, humble yourself and pray. Brother Beninkak. Would you like to add something it's special as well? Um, I'm listening, brother. I, I, I agree. For me, it was definitely, i sad to say, but it was definitely a revelation about the most impactful prayer being in your own space when you lock the door, close the room, because we were in church for so long where prayer was this big, event <laughs> or um yeah it was just done a show and tell it it's as if um it's as if you couldn't quite pray like they pray or whatever um yeah it's a bit sad I woke up a bit late to that one even though it's in the bible but i'm grateful for that that he's calm he's quiet and he wants a calm place with a sincere heart yeah I just want to add something. Um, no, uh, Can you speak a little bit more loud? Yes, can you can. Can you hear me properly now? Oh, that's good. Yeah, actually, uh, the, 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 the place, uh, let me start off by saying, uh, when, when you go, when you come, when it's come to prayer, Actually, there is an order. This is why uh, our, our the disciple of Kuswa Congo, when they asked him to teach them how to pray, he didn't, Kuswa Congo, um, Christ, he didn't just say pray. Actually, he gave them a seminar in prayer and he taught them how to pray, to pronounce the, the exact word. First of all, by praying, the first, the first thing we normally do is you start off by asking um, or asking forgiveness. Yeah, you can start off by asking your forgiveness and then thanks Tatan Zambi for all his mighty. Exalt him. That is why we say our Father, who art in prayer, allowed be thy your name. And holy is your name. Like, exalt him, praise him. And after that, first of all, forgiveness, and then give glory to Tatan Zambi. And uh, third, you can ask 
address your issue, whatever is in your heart. Talk to him like a friend. Yeah, like a friend. And then when you also be praying, and the last thing you should do when you when you're done asking your 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 everything you want to to ask, yeah, give him thank as well, and believe that you already got it. And you can actually you can pray anywhere, but in public you can pray within your heart. You don't need to even in 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 a, in a bus. Let's say you you driving, you're going to to work or to school or to some some place else. Yeah, in bus while you're in bus, you can also pray within your heart. You pray in bus. Nobody m- must know must notice that you are praying. And in public area also, let's go in your work. If the office is busy, even if there is no place for me to pray, even I, I go to toilet, I lock myself and I pray. I don't need to take my voice, but within my heart, I pray and then I'm done and I walk away not, like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. Actually, we pray anywhere, but in public, we pray in secret. In our heart, this is just for people notice that we be busy praying. This is why Kusra Kong, we rebuke the, 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 the Pharisees because they used to pray in public. You see, like you go in KFC and then you, you seem like, oh, uh, Tatanzambi touched me for me to pray. Imagine KFC and you praying, oh, Tatanzambi. It will sound like you're crazy. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so if you dare and Tatanzambi touch you for you to pray, pray within your heart. Yeah. And then the best place for you to, to pray is actually in your room. You can pray anywhere in public, as we say, in Vinaya we will pray, but in your room, yourself, in Tatanzambi, yeah. That's the best place for you to pray. I think for now, brother, somebody, this is what I wanted to, to add. Matondo. Matondo, Matondo, actually it's true. Just made me to remember uh, someone in the Bible that I really admire a lot. I think all of you know that history yeah. as well. You don't need only to open your mouth to start praying. Even in your heart, without opening your mouth, you can pray. There was a powerful prayer made by Hannah. Hannah was a lady that was suffering a lot in her life with no kids. And then people were laughing at, at her, making jokes to her, but she was very sad. One day she decided to go to Satan Zambi's house to pray. Then she taught us one secret of prayer as well. She was there very calm, crying to Tatan Zambi, praying inside of her heart, making a powerful prayer to Tatan Zambi, asking Tatan Zambi, if you give me a son, I will give it back to you. But she did not open her mouth. And Eli, the sacerdote of that church in that time, she thought that Anna was drunk because she was just moving her lips like this. But she was praying very with confidence, with faith to Tatan Zambi for for, so that Tatan Zambi would give her a son. We can find it in the book of Samuel chapter one from verse nine up to 18 you guys can read it at home it is it's a very powerful history but anna was praying 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 and then from that prayer from this example we also find another secret of prayer that the the manda velala taught us when you pray you must also give Make a vow with Tatan Zambi. Don't only pray. Do as Anna did. If you bless me, if you give me a son, I will give it to you. Imagine, brothers and sisters, <laughs> I'm praying for ten thousand dollar, and then I say Tatan Zambi. If you give me this ten thousand dollars, I will give it back to you. Could you make it? Could you do it? 
If you give me $10,000, Tata and Zambi, I will give it back to you. No, I don't know if I could do that. But Anna, she didn't have a son. People were laughing at her. And then she said, please, Tata and Zambi, if you bless me with a son, I will give it back to you. It says, verse 10 of first uh, Samuel, Anna was deep hunger, crying, barely, and she prayed to Tatanzambe, and she made this vow. Oh, Tatanzambe in heaven arms, if you look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, I will give him back to you, oh, glory. Hallelujah. I will be, he, he will be your, his entire lifetime and a sign that she has been dedicated to that and Zambi. His heir will never be carried. Hallelujah. You see, Campbell. Hallelujah. Anna, in this benefit of prayer, she was confirming when you pray with faith, confidence, and you give it all to Tatan Zambi, Tatan Zambi gives you an answer. But before you must, uh, 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 you must test. If I, if it, uh, that well, you 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 must prove to Tatan Zambi that you really want this. And Anna D said, "If you give me, I will give it back to you." Why? Because Anna just wanted a son. That's all for her. If you give, okay, son will be mine, but I'm gonna give it to you. So, please, you don't need to open your mouth in a public place while you are working, while you are at school, while you are walking. If you feel like you want to talk with Tatan Zambi, you can talk. I was uh, watching a movie three days ago, it was about a little bit of Christians, it's a gospel movie. And the guy, there was a guy there in the movie that was passing through a lot of problems. And then he went to church, but the, the door was closed, <laughs> you see? And the pastor was, was outside. And then he asked, hey, pastor, how can I talk with, with your boss? <laughs> He was talking about Tata and Zambi. And the pastor said, what do you mean? I want to talk with your boss. Who's this? Tata and Zambi said, no. You can talk to him, just say, hey, Tata and Zambi, I'm here, here is me. You don't need to make an appointment to talk with Tata and Zambi. <laughs> he said to the man, you, you don't need to make an appointment to pray. When you feel like you want to pray, you pray. That Zambi will hear you. So prayer is so powerful that we don't need to make an appointment to talk with our savior, our creator, our Tatan Zambi. So there is an important uh, aspect of prayer that Brother Benny Corret mentioned it. I just want to go quickly in the book of, of Philippians. You can uh, follow it in your Bible. Book of the chapter is book of Philippians chapter four. It talks something very powerful about prayer. Can it says chapter four, uh, verse six. Seven Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It says, Don't worry about anything, instead, pray about everything. Tell Tatan Zambi what you need and thank him for all he says he has done. Then you will. Experience Tatanzambe peace, which 
exceeds anything you can understand. His peace will guard you, will guard your heart and mind as live in Cruz Bacongo. It says, don't worry about anything. When you are passing through a lot of problem in your life, you think like there is no solution for it. You think like it's over. You say, no, it is not over until I win. You wow. go pray to Tatan Zambi and Tatan Zambi will help you. There is also one secret in prayer. You cannot only pray. You have also to thanks Tatan Zambi in everything you do. That's one of the problem among us people of Tatanzam. We, we just go to Tatanzam when we are suffering, when we, we, we have problem. No, take time as well to talk to him. My grandpa taught me something. Treat Tatanzam as your friend. Mm -hmm. When you are praying, explain and say everything to him. Hey, Tatanzam, you see, I want to open this business. What do you think? Talk to him like as your friend. Hey, Tatanzam, I'm passing through this problem in my family. My father is against my faith. My family is against my faith. My friends are, are, are running away from me. What can I do? In your prayer, you, you can talk to Tatan Zambi. Don't treat him like he's not your friend. Treat him like he's your best friend so that your communication with him can be much clearer and simple because Tatan Zambi is simple. So Paul, in this book of Philippians, uh, I mean, the Portuguese Philippians, he was teaching us that whenever we go through in life, we have to give to him. So when you, when you receive the blessing of Tatan Zambi, you, you have to thank him. That's why we wrote the thanksgiving for everything we have received from him. You, you have to, to give thanksgiving and don't just pray for yourself. The more you pray for others, more blessing you, you will receive. Pray more for your friends, for your family, for your classmate, for your nation. Pray more for others, in, in, in other words. Don't just pray for you. You cannot resume your prayers every single day just about yourself. No. Pray for others. Pray for Sister Michelle, Sister Spesh, Sister Kate, and others. Pray for our community. Pray for our brother that wants to come to Mama Africa. Pray. Let us pray for which one another. Imagine that I'm praying for my brother Benika, and brother Benika is praying for me. The blessing will be more. And together we are more strong. Don't pray just for yourself. We, we have to pray for which one another so that we can, so that we become more strong. As Brother Benika said, when you pray, you have to say, like you, you are praying, you have to believe that I already conquered that. That is already mine. You have to, to have this faith. I'm praying, but Tatan Zambi already gave me it. This is mine already. That's when you pray, you, you have to be confident and say, that's why we say, amen, it is done. That's the faith. And when you pray, is the first thing to say, expression of faith and trust. You have to trust, believe Tatan Zambi is working and he already gave you what you are praying for. And may, remember Hannah, while Anna was praying, she believed that the son was already, that she already got the son. That's why she said, if you give me, I will give it to you. 
She was believing, no, I have already signed. <laughs> you see? Prayer is the key that can open any doors. I took it from our sister. Uh, what is that, that sister? I don't know if it's, she's there. Let me just look for her. Sister Michelle. She's the one that put it in a Zoom profile. Prayer is the only, is the key that can open any door. If you have no job, pray. If you are passing through very problems in your life, pray. If you think like things are not good, pray. Satan Zamb will provide. So we are talking about prayer. We are talking about prayer should be so very nice and powerful for us to put it in, in practice. So that's the time for us that we're gonna pray. We, we will ask something that made me be, be very sad this week. I saw it in a, in a group on Signal. Our fellow brothers are passing through a lot of problems there in America. They, they, they're saying if no vaccine, no job, and the families are going against them, there is a problem among the families at the vision. The solution for this is in prayer. We're gonna pray for them today. For those people that the families are divided because parents don't want them to follow Tatanzam. Brother and sister doesn't want them to follow Tatanzam. We're gonna pray. Let us open our hearts and pray and give all the honors, all the glories to our Tatanzambi. That is the moment for each one of us. So I would like to ask our sister Speci, we're gonna make four prayers. We're gonna ask Sister Speci, uh, Mama Tamara, Brother Miguel, and Sister Kaisha, if I'm pronouncing it nicely. We're gonna start with Sister Speci, Mama Tamara, Brother Miguel and Sister Kaisha. Brother Miguel, are you there? I think Brother Miguel is, is not there. So we're gonna invite our Sister Sam Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm actually trying to multitask, so. <laughs> That's fine. It's understandable, brother. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm here all... listening, but I just, I just try to multitask. <laughs> okay, Matondo yeah. for joining us as well. So we're gonna start with Sister Speci. Uh, Mama, where is Mama? Mama Tamara, uh, Sister uh, Keisha, and finally, Sister Sam, please. Let us all pray. Myself, when I pray, I decided to kneel down to show that like, I'm no one in front of Tatanzam. So you can pray in any position that you feel more comfortable, but I will kneel down. Uh, just a second, brother to somebody and brothers and sisters. Actually, you can do it in order. Let's say when it's a special start. The other Mama Tamara and Sister Sam, you can get ready. And after Sister Space is done with, it, with, with her prayer, the next one can follow. You say, Brother, to Sister Space, Mama Tamara, 
Okay. Start and Keisha. Okay. It's the same. Oh, okay. I guess that's in order. When the first person is done, the next, the second person go, continue, and yeah, let's carry on. And for us, that is in, in the background, we can also pray within our heart. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. All right. All right, family. I'm going to pray the Psalm of David in Psalm 86, and I'm going, I'm pleading on behalf of the diaspora, Bantu diaspora, and those in this awakening. I think we all share similar pain and problems, uh, especially in the area of our families. Some of us were the only ones awake amongst our family and friends, and we ought to ask for divine intervention. So Psalm 86, if you would like to follow. Bow down your ear to us. Oh, so nini nanini, hear us, for we are poor and needy. Preserve our souls, oh Father, for we are holy. We endeavor to be holy. Oh, you, our Tatanzandi, save your servants because we trust in you. Be merciful to us, O oh Tata, for we are crying to you daily. Rejoice the soul of your servants, for unto you, O oh Tata, do we lift up our soul. Father, where no one else will stand up for you, we choosing to stand for you, not just privately in our own hearts or in our own rooms, but we are willing to stand publicly for your great name and for your promises and for what you're doing for us. For you, O oh Lord, you are good and you are ready to forgive us and you are plentiful in mercy unto all who call upon you. Give ear to us, O oh Sonini Nanini, unto our prayers and attend to the voice of our supplication. In the day of our troubles, we will call upon you and you will answer us. Because among the gods, there is none like you. And Father, we have left our foreign gods. We have left our spaces of comfort. We have left our false doctrines. We have left the desires of our hearts, which we once considered great which we once considered we could not do without. But Father, we found you, the true Sonini Nanini, Tatan Zambia, Abe, the Creator, Sema. Oh, Tata, there aren't any works like your works. All the nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, oh, Tata, and shall glorify your name. And we thank you, Father, that you've put us in the front. No matter how hard it is, no matter the trials and temptations, I ask you to open your eyes, Father, and see us because we are willing to be at the forefront of this promise, at the forefront of this prophecy. Therefore, it is us who will lead the nations who will come and worship you, O oh, Father, and glorify in your name. So for this, Father, I'm asking for extra strength. I'm asking for your angels to walk with us. I'm asking for our prayers to be answered first and foremost, above all other prayers. I'm asking for increased power. I'm asking for increased authority and increased strength as we go to our places of work, as we go to our families' places, Father. Let, let, there, be, let there be a power, let there be a peace in the air nothing can overtake us, no threats of vaccination, no threats of abandonment in our families can deter us from walking in your path. For you are great and you do wondrous things. You are on zombie alone. Teach us your ways, O oh Tata, and we will walk in your truth. Unite our hearts to fear your name. We will praise you, O oh, Tatanzambi, with 
all our hearts and we will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy towards us and you have delivered our souls from the lowest hells. And that is why we have so much faith because we know where we come from. We know what dead religion is. We know what false pretenses are. We know what it's like. And we are tired, we are ready and willing to abandon all those falsehoods and join the truth. And in order to stay on this path, Father, we need your strength, we need your wisdom from above. So give us ways out. Give us a way out. O Tatan Zambi, the proud are risen against us, our bosses, our own families, our own mothers, our own fathers. And the assemblies of violent men, these horrible nations have sought after our souls and have not set you before them. But you also, you are a God full of compassion. You are gracious, you are long suffering and you are plentiful in mercy and truth. Oh, turn to us and have mercy upon us. Give your strength unto your servants, the Bantus, the Bantus awakening, those who have turned to you with, with a broken and contrite heart, those who have sworn to worship you in spirit and in truth, save us. Show us a token of good, so they that which hate us and go against us will be ashamed, because you, O Sunini Nanini, has held us up and have comforted us. Ingeta. Ingeta, Ingeta, Ingeta. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Tata and Zombie, we come before you and we come with thanksgiving and honor you because you are the Alpha and the Omega. We ask Tata and Zombie as we pray on behalf of our family and friends in the diaspora, the ones who are worried, the ones who are fearful of taking this, this jab that they want us to take. We ask in the name of Isaiah Congo that you will come against their plans, come against everything that they have, have planned to destroy us and to eliminate us. We ask on behalf of um, Isaiah Congo that you would give us direction, that you would help us to, to help us to figure out ways in order not to be able not to take this um, injection that they want us to take. We ask that you will make us invisible, Tata and Zombie, and help the ones who are worried about losing their jobs. Oh, we pray the prayer of Psalm 23, because you, O oh, Tata and Zombie, are our shepherd, and we shall not want. You make us us to lie down in green pastures and lead us beside the still waters. You restore us our soul. You lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Yea, that we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but the shadow of uncertainty, we will fear no evil. For you, Tata and Zombie, are with us. Your rod and your staff comfort us. You prepare us a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint us our head with oil. Our cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the house of Tata and Zombie forever and ever and ever. Be with us, Tata. Please be with us. Take the fear out of our hearts. Take the fear out of us losing the fact that we may lose our jobs. The ones that do not know you, the ones that do not trust you, the ones that do not even believe in you or know who they are. I ask in the name of Isaiah Congo that you will help them. You will help them because they are not sure. They do not know who they are yet. And I pray in the name 
of Isaiah Congo, that you would make a law or, or I don't know, make a way out of no way for us, Tata. Please make a way out of no way. There are so many people that I know of, including myself, that may lose their job because we refuse to take this vaccine that they invented, that they created to destroy and eliminate us. Oh, we just praise you and we just thank you. And we honor you, Tata and Zombie, and we glorify your holy name. And get her, and get her, and get her. And get her. Hallelujah. We give praises to Tata and Zambi from Gotilindo. Father, thank you for your presence. We thank you that we can gather here together and praise and worship you and recognize you as our creator, as the one who loves us. You love us before we knew you. You knew us before we were even placed in our mother's womb. Father, you see the destruction that the enemy wants to bring upon us. But your word says that even in times of trouble, we must give thanks. We must praise you. We must sing. We must be joyful. So here we are today, Father, your daughters and your brothers. We're gathered here to Tanzambi to ask for your presence in our life to ask for your presence even now and the holy saints to help us, to guide us, to show us how to live, how to do the things accordingly, to do the practices that you have called us to do, that we may receive your blessing. Father, your word says in Psalms 57, be merciful unto, unto us, Tatan Zambi. Be merciful unto me, unto us. For our soul trusted in you, you in the shadow of your wings will we make our refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Father, we will cry unto you, Tatan Zambi, that you may perform all things for us. You shall send from heaven and save us from the reproach of them that would swallow us up. Tatanzambi, you shall send forth your mercy and your truth. Father, we ask you for divine strength, love, peace, and unity among our brothers and sisters. Father, we strive to follow you and you only, to trust in you and your words only. And we ask that you give us all we need to do so. Tatanzambi, help us to draw closer to you every single day, every minute, every second, and every hour. Anything that we have to say before we speak to men, let us speak to you. For you are the only one that can give us the answers. We give you thanks for all that we've received, all the visions and the dreams that you have shown us already, how to walk and live accordingly. And Father, like Hannah, sometimes we whisper in our hearts and we pray and we ask you for things silently and it comes. But Antambi, we thank you. We thank you for a lot of people have not known when we sit in our private places and speak to you. Father, you honor it. Let us vow as the brother says, and as Hannah did, let us vow to when we receive from you, we give even back a portion of what you have given us to others that they may also come into the blessing of your glory, of your kembo. Father, a lot of our brothers are sick. A lot of us wants to go back to the land. A lot of us are being threatened, Tatanzambi. 
by this vaccine and not going back to work, but we are asking you for your direction. Show us in the spirit, show us in the natural, what it means if we take it, show us if we should or should not, because you are the only protector of us. We know it's not just taking it, but it's the spiritual implication of taking it. So we are asking for your direction. We are asking that you reveal it to us and make a way, make options for us and let us walk in it. Father, we give you thanks and we ask for healing power for our brothers that are sick in spirit, that are fatigued, that their minds are being one way or the other because of stress. Katanzambi, we're looking to you and you only, Father. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Thank you. And help us to be humble before you that we may continue to serve you and serve others. Give us the spirit of prayer each day, the spirit to talk to you each day, the spirit to love our brothers and sisters, and the spirit to draw closer to you and be your friend. We need to know, Takanzambi, about you that we can also learn about ourselves and others and how to treat others. Father, help us that we may help others, our family, our friends, strangers, those we have put in our path and continue to show us the way as we live only for you. Let us vow to give what you have given back, what you have given to us. Let us give back to your people in data. Katanzambi Amazulu, Katanzambi Ampungu Tulendo, Father, I say thank you, Father, for gathering us here today, seeking your face, seeking your heart, Katanzambi. Before you, Father, we ask, may you give us strength, may you give us courage in these times, in these times of darkness, of chaos, that the that we see only you, for the light shines darker, the light shines brighter in the darkness, Father. And you are the light, you are our hope. Father, may we walk continually in your will, despite the challenges that rise against us, despite the, despite the wiles of the wicked ones, Satan Zambi, who seek to compel us to do what they, what they want us to do, Satan Zambi. May, you continue, may we continually seek you in all things, Father. May we sanctify ourselves before you, Father. We give you permission, purify our hearts, renew our minds, and cause us to walk in your will, that we may not fear. You did not give us a spirit of fear, Father, but, but that we ought to always stand strong, that we all ought to always hope in, your, in you, Tata, for we do not fear man, we do not fear man which you create, Tatan Zambi, but we fear you who can destroy our bodies and our souls, Father. May, may you strengthen us. May you strengthen your people. May you strengthen Isolele, Father. You send your, your malekis, your holy angels, the prophets to stand guard over your people and cover and protect them in this time, Father. And there shall be no compromise at that. While the whole world kneels to, to the systems that is, that is implemented by the wicked ones, Tatan Zambi, we shall stand, Father. We shall stand and look and raise up our heads to the hills, Tata, where, where you help us, where you come to help us, Father. Let us be strong in this time. Let us put ourselves, put, let us hold each other up in prayer continually, Tata. Seek after righteousness, seek after holiness, Father. With a repentant heart, turn to you continually. That we hear your voice in our prayer. We, we not only, as, as, we, as we voice our, the troubles in our hearts, that we also listen to what you are saying to us. And what you say to us, we will do. What you tell us to do, we will do. Your commands, we will follow because we love you, Father. 
Tatanzambi, strengthen your people, those in the diaspora and those in the continent, make them strong, Father. Make them stand strong, Father. With their eyes focused on you, Tata, eyes focused on you who, who, who give everything. Why ought we to fear what is happening in the world, Father? This, this world gives us one solution to the chaos that is happening, which is the vaccines, Father. But we pray to Tata Zambi, we pray to the creator, Sonini Nanini, who split the Red Sea, who, who causes the sun to stand still, who, who created the heavens and the earth, Father. There is not only one solution, Tata, you can do all things. And we cry out to you, Father, may you fulfill the desires of our hearts to serve you, to know you deeper, to follow you even in this in, in the chaos that is happening in the world, we will stand strong and we will be focused on you, Father. May your will be done, Tata. We sing, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Tata Zambi. And for your people, cover your people right now, Father. Those who are struggling, those in which there is division in the household. Give comfort now to your people who are crying out to you for healing, for help, and for protection. Comfort them, Tata, your Mwanda Avalela, that you will cover them. And their heart will sing praises unto you in hope. They will look unto you with hope, Tata with a joyful heart for you are our salvation and the redeemer, our redeemer, Father. And may your will be done, Tata, may your will be done. And may your kingdom come, Father, may your kingdom come and strengthen your people in this time. Let them stand, let them be courageous. Let them lift up their heads unto the heavens the heavens, which is your throne, and the earth, your footstool, Tatan Zambi. We will put all our hope and all our trust in you, for you are good. You are good, Father. May you be glorified. All the nations shall bow down before you, for you are good, Tatan Zambi. And I pray, Father, as Isolele awakens, as your people, as the moon to awaken, now to their identity, to the identity of who they are and who you are, Father. May you increase them for the thirst that they have for knowledge, for the thirst to seek you deep, deeper, Father. Be with them, increase them, Captain Zambi. Cover them, those who diligently seek you, those who are still asleep, those of you have already awakened, send them, Father, to awaken the others. Send them to awaken the others, Father so that we can all testify of your goodness and your mercies. Thank you, Tatan Zambi, for all that you do, for who you are, and may you be glorified in our lives. Ngeta. Ngeta. Ngeta, Ngeta, Ngeta. Matondo, Matondo, for these powerful prayers. For those who are joining us right now, we are talking about the prayers. Prayer according to the Mwanda, Verela, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Sister Speci, Sister Keisha, Mama Tamara, and Sister Sam for this powerful prayer. We believe that Tatan Zambe is among us, is receiving all our prayers. We have to pray for our brothers and sisters in diaspora, for those who are in big problems, 
in the family, the country. So we were praying for this. I can see that we have new faces. Before we move on, I would like to, 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 to uh, get to know so that you may present yourself. I can see uh, Mama Laurin, the husband. I can see Brother Alberto Lubaco, uh, Brother Tron Rocha, Mama Doris is also among us. Sister Teresa is, is also old one in this Zoom session. So Mama Laurinda, husband, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is uh, Manuel. And I am the husband of uh, Laurinda. We've got a uh, beautiful child here. And uh, Eliza, your child. And um, I was praying. I uh, saw Lawrence sitting down and uh, was singing. And uh, uh, Tata uh, gave me uh, a word from the Bible to sit down and to enjoy with you. And that's the reason why I come. So he said, go and sit, enjoy it. <laughs> matondo, matondo. So let us all. Uh, thanks, our brother. For kese kina ku o wandon kwasa, o wandon kwasa, o wandon kwasa. Matondo, matondo. Our father, our brother, for joining us today. Matondo, matondo. Oh, brother Bert is is no is no longer among us. I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna jump in our presentation. Brother Benika, do you have any song that that you can? sing for us before we move on in the next slide. Oh, of course. Kemba kakafulu kinalwa kilwe golo kyakubama Kemba kakafulu kinalwa kilwe Olo kya kuba kemba kaka ya kuba ma kemba kaka fulu kinalwa kilwe golo kya kuba ma yawe kuba ma kemba kaka fulu kinalwa kilwe golo kya kuba kemba kaka ya kuba ma kemba kaka fulu kinalwa kilwe golo kya kuba ma yawe kuba ma kemba kaka fulu kinalwa Kilwe, Olo Kyakuba, Kemba Kaka Yakuba, Ma, Kemba Kaka Fulu Kinan, Kilwe, Olo Kyakuba, Ma, Yawe Kuba, Ma, Kemba Kaka Fulu Kinan, Kilwe, Olo Kyakuba, Kemba Kaka Yakuba, Ma, Kemba Kaka Fulu Kinan, Kilwe. Golo Kyakuba ma Kazakale, 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 we are all here rejoicing, singing, praying. So that's why we have to be all happy and happy. Brother Jesse, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Matondo, 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 for all of you that are here present in our Zoom session. Wazekele, Wazekele, Brother Benika, what is the meaning of this powerful Nkembo? I love it so much. Nkemba kaka fulu kina lwa kile nolo yakubama. It means that your, your place in Zion is already prepared. Your place in Zion is already prepared because you know, remember uh, Kuswa Congo, Christ is saying, I will go and prepare a place for you. So we know what we sing. <laughs> it says your place in Zion is already prepared. So just rejoice, 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 because your place is already pre prepared. Yeah, get that. Matondo, Matondo. So your place is already prepared in Zion. 
So fight for it while we are alive, while we have strength, fight for your place because Tatan Zambi is already prepared it for you. So is anyone that would like to sing as well before we, we move on in the next presentation? So now we will we would like to share how do Tokoistas pray. The Tokoista Church, we have a way of praying, as you can see in the picture in the presentation there. Today now we're gonna share how do Tokoista pray. If you guys were Paying attention while we were praying, the way Brother Benika was and myself and Sister Spesh, maybe you can already get the picture of how do we Tokwista pray. So the Tokwista pray with the eyes open and, and our fall, our head is turned a little bit or slightly towards the uh, half words, like we pray like this with eyes open. It doesn't mean for all of you who pray with eyes closed, Tatan Zambi is not hearing you, no. But we talk with us have our way of, of praying to Tatan Zambi. As I say, eyes open, and then our head is slightly upwards like this, we pray like this. So why do we pray like this? Brother Benik. Oh, okay. I don't know, Brother Samba. Well, as our brother said, uh, yeah, we, we, we normally, we, when we pray, we don't, we don't close our eyes. Man. But as you can see on the, on, the, on the slide, there is a note. It's a specific reason or motivation may lead to pray, not, necess not necessarily with the eyes turned upward. Sorry, there is a back, there is noise in the background. Thank you very much. So it says the not specific reason or motivation may lead you to pray, not necessarily with the eyes turned upward. For example, when you uh, when you bow down, let's say when you knee down. When you kneel down and you like let's say the situation is tough, and you cry out to Tatan Zambi, and sometimes we get lost and we bow down and we cry out for him. So this is one of motivation, one of the reasons you can lay down, even you can lay down on your belly, as you can see on the picture. There, the, the first picture, they pray standing uh, with their head upward, just like like this, they pray like this. Now, when we stand, when we stand up, we pray like this. When we are standing on our feet, we pray, we pray like this. But when we kneel down, we we kneel down, we do like this. But our eyes keep on open. We don't close eyes. And then, for certain reason, we bow down. We lay down on the floor, as you can see on the picture. They are the elders. They are, they laid on the floor, and their head they are like it's looking down. Ne? At that moment, ne, it will happen. I mean, the moment will will cause you sometimes for you to close your eyes, which is no problem. That's fine. Yeah. So that's one of the, one of the reasons. Normally, we close even our eyes and. Yeah, so actually there is no problem with that. But the standard, ne, the, the standard taught by Mwanda Vilela, by Tatan Zambi, is to open our eyes. Because, you know, we have to check the movement and be focused and check what's going on. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense. 
you know. Yes, I think it was Simon Kimbangu who made a joke. He said, uh, while we were closing our eyes, they'll just take your land, they'll take your woman, <laughs> they'll take your land. <laughs> just what happened actually to Africans. They told us to close our eyes, and then when we opened them, everything was gone. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I'm just going to read the scripture. Um, it's not 112, it's 121, uh, verse 1. Psalm yeah, you, 121, yeah. uh, it says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where comes my help. My comes my help comes from Tatanzambi, which made heaven and earth. So that is how it was described to me. And I just want to testify a little bit about this. Um, as a child, I've always loved nature and being in nature and sometimes when I would pray or in nature I naturally you know when you see the sunset and the beautiful flowers and the trees you naturally start to think about uh we call them God you know the Zambi, yeah creation and there's a natural inkling of rejoicing and thanksgiving because in, in you're kind of looking at your creator and I'm, I'm blessed with a great view here in oh, South yeah. Africa. And um, so I always naturally, before I went to the Tokwish church in nature, um, I would naturally open my eyes and sing and worship because I want to look at the creation of the creator. I want to behold his majesties. Um, in the book, it says, the heaven declare your your glory the, the the ocean the the trees the flowers the birds they um they are evidence of god's creation so i always i always used to do this even till this day when i sing actually um my favorite almost powerful worship moments are sunrise and sunset going outside singing in the direction of the sun. Um, no one taught me that before, although there were some gunzas that uh, mentioned that after I did it. And I cannot describe the power and the connection I felt with Tatanzandi and his creation. I felt one with the sea, the sky. With, I started looking at the clouds as I was worshiping, and it gave me strength. I started looking at the birds. I started looking at the shape of the trees. And I became one, the, the, the word of the Tanzambi, it became alive. And that's something that gives me strength. I open up the Psalms, especially when I'm reading about the heavens, the earth, the sea. I make sure that I'm outside and I, I can't describe it. It's something, it, I, I go beyond myself when I'm in that mode, in that element, no matter how I was feeling before, I become larger and I get an overwhelming sense of, of, of an overwhelming sense of the majesty of, of the Tanzani. And so it wasn't difficult for me to receive this from the Tokus. In fact, I was, I'm a bit of a political, <laughs> I'm a bit of a political activist, so I understood Kim Bangu completely when he said, <laughs> when he says, that, rather open your eyes because you don't know what people are doing. It, it was relevant at the time, you know, because you can be praying and people can be doing shady things, you know, and uh, no offense, but a lot of us Africans, they are very blind, very gullible, very sincere, but gullible. You pray without wisdom. You're praying, praying earnestly, but you're not aware of what's going on around you. That's why a lot of our people are stuck in the churches. They're praying, 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 and they, they can't see the corruption of the pastor or the doctrine or whatever because they've just been told, bow your heads and pray, just keep quiet and just pray, just pray, just pray. And that can be deceiving to people. But anyway, I'm just here to give glory to Tatanzambi because I discovered a secret 
of praying with nature, my eyes open towards the sun, sunset, sunrise. That is where my most powerful uh, worship sessions come through. So, yeah, thank you. Katondo, Katondo sister speech that was a very powerful <laughs> this morning. And uh, that's a reality, of course. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and, and, and even talking about why do we open our eyes, even if we, if we read the book of John, John chapter 17, 17, the first verse, verse one, John chapter 17, the first, one, the first verse, it says the following, it is the title, um, Jesus prays to, the, to be glorified. So here, Kusro Kongo, he prayed, saying the following, it says, after Kusro Kongo say this, he looked towards heaven and prayed. You see, he looked, he looked toward heaven and prayed. He didn't bow down, he said, he looked toward heaven and prayed like this. When we kneel down, we pray like this. And when, when we're standing up on our feet, we, pr we pray like this. But we look back, not down. But as I said also, for certain reason, especially when you are locked in your room, that's fine. At least everything is under control. You are by, your, by yourself. You, yourself in Tatanzambi, sometimes you will lay down on your belly. You will cry out and you will end up close Closing your eyes and bow down, no problem. Okay? This is why we say for certain reasons, sometimes for certain reason, and motivation will cause your eyes to, to close, which is fine. Especially when you are closed in your room, yourself, yourself. But especially amongst people, even in church, watch out, watch out. You must, <laughs> must look around what's going on. Yeah. Yep, guess what? <laughs> If you go to, to the African village, some African village, they will tell you this, very interesting. Not just African village, I think around the world, but let me tell you about our experience sometimes. At certain village, you know, um, the devil is a liar. He's, he doesn't like people to prosper. Okay? Let's say when you, when you are a, a family member, let's say your, your uncle yeah, is, a, is a, a chief, of the village and you are busy succeeding. You know, when you succeed, people get jealous of you. You know that, people get jealous. Even family member, your brother, your uncle. Yeah, your uncle, they get jealous. When you say, uncle, yes, I bought a new house. They will be like, oh, that's good. And when they look down, they will, they will be like, oh, you're prospering too much. You see, they don't get happy and then some, um, some people, let's say young people, yeah, normally when they prosper in life, it's a culture for you to visit your, 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 aunt, your uncle to give you the blessing. Then you, you go to the village, you visit your uncle and say, uncle, I just bought a new car. They, I went, they, let's say you went in the village and you travel back to New York. Well, I'm working in New York and I just got a new car and stuff. Yeah, so I just came here to, to give you thanks. Or your prayer and stuff, the uncle will be like, oh, that's good. So that's good. So my nephew, I'm, I'm very glad for you. So just bow down and let's pray to Tatan Zambi to bless you more and more. Close your eyes. And then you will close your eyes. And you know what? He will take something from his pocket. <laughs> Magic powder. He will take a powder from his pocket <laughs> and will throw it at you. But you will, will not <laughs> Close your eyes, your eyes is closed. It's close. like hey, Captain Zambi, bless this kid. Take the powder. <laughs> bless this kid. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. <laughs> Strong your powder. And that, that's a reality. That's a reality. <laughs> I'm talking about our own reality. That's a reality. We'll In the name of Jesus. In the, yeah, name, of Jesus. the name of Jesus. Bless this kid. But instead of blessing you, 
is busy cursing you <laughs> because that order, that's the order the, the witchcraft they used. But guess what? If you say, uncle, okay, go ahead, pray for me, and open your eyes, you are looking at him. There will be no chance for him to, to do you any evil. And not just because of this. You know, years ago, when Africa was still under the colonialist, um, those missionaries who came to, evangel to evangelize Africa, they, as they said, um, you know, last time we talked about Simon Toko. Simon Toko, he learned the Bible through those missionaries, because when they came, they started to evangelize and stuff, they, especially the kids. They, they sent him to a mission. And at this mission, uh, he was there learning Bible study and stuff. So one day, they gathered in one room to start the Bible. And after they start the Bible, the missionary said, okay, brothers and sisters, he's a guy from Europe. He said, let's pray now. Please, all of you, kneel down and bow your, bow your head. All of them, they say, amen. Okay. All of them, they closed their eyes and they were praying. But guess what? Simon Toku, he didn't close his eyes. He, he was praying like this, eyes open. And while they were busy praying, the missionary said, hey, Simon, why didn't you close your eyes? You're supposed to close your eyes. And he looked to the missionary and said, pay attention to this. He said, if you told us to close our eyes for us to pray, how did you notice that, what, that I was praying with open eyes? If you saw, <laughs> if you were supposed to close. <laughs> you must ask. You must ask. Does it make sense, brother? Yes, it makes sense. How? You how see? did it not how? fall? Simon <laughs> Toko caught him. That guy was caught. How <laughs> did you see me? How did you see me? Because you taught us when we pray, all of us are supposed to close our eyes. Amen. Amen. So how did you see me? If all of us are supposed to close our eyes, the guy was like. He was embarrassed. He didn't know what to say. This is why Simon Toko said, ah, I got you now, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have a response from my mom. <laughs> she used to ask us to bow her head, close our eyes. And then she'd be like, hey, why are your eyes open? <laughs> I should tell her that, how do you know our eyes are open? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> just say, watch and pray. <laughs> Sorry, Sita. Sorry. Exactly. Watch and pray. Watch yes. And pray. Watch and pray. That's what it says. Watch and pray. Watch. Mm. You see, yeah. That's the reason we don't close. Because even when we bow, when those days, our ancestors, man, those guys who accepted the, 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 the missionary gospel, they, while they closed their eyes, they are doing a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. They're throwing powder around the African church and stuff. And we keep blind. This is why you don't understand why African, they, we were blind for many and many years. You see, Hallelujah. there were a lot of stuff going on. They used to do a lot of stuff while we close our eyes. You see? They, yeah, they used to do a lot of stuff. This is why uh, even Simon Toko, we say this, and the missionary, when they, they used to say this, uh, black people, no way, no way, so way. So way. So way. You see? No me so way, so way. No me so way, so way. It's like, it's like African people, you <laughs> must keep on closing your eyes because you are dumb. And all of them, yes, we're done. Let's close our we are eyes. Done. You see? That's the way they used to do in the past. But this guy, Simon Toko, said, no, no way. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is why they, I don't want to open another topic. This is why he got very persecuted. Because he was going against 
the teaching from outside. Yeah, this is the main reason, besides the, 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 the reason or the argument away from the Bible, we also have this, all of this evidence. And this is why Kuswa Congo, Jesus Christ, he told us when you go in your room, lock yourself, uh, there you safe. You can bow down on your belly, yeah, and you can cry out unto the Lord. Unto it's the a safe space. Yeah. So is there any comment? Does it make sense for you, brothers and sisters? Is there any question? Is there any comment? <laughs> It makes sense. It, it it definitely makes sense, brothers. Um, uh, that that was y'all already know. I watch a lot of Mikael Masa, so I already uh I know about that. You know, um, I heard the Simon Toko joke, uh, before also. So um, yeah, man, that's how I really do it. You know, um, it's funny because when I was living in Florida, I met a an elder on the street, you know, he he a Christian, but he would be like, let me pray for you. And he looked straight to the sky. He don't know nothing about none of this we talk about right here. You see what I'm saying? But he'll look straight to the sky and he'll just start praying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, it's um it's definitely in us, you know. Um uh, uh, uh sorry about the noise and background. Um I'm in the trenches right now, but um, uh, yeah. So yeah, that uh, that's what I really wanted to uh say. Sorry. Matondo, Matondo, Ingeta. Anybody else comment or question? Does it make sense for you? <laughs> oh, Brato Samba, you can go ahead. Um, Oh, sister, go ahead. Yeah, um, also just like what sister she was saying um, before when I was young, um, what really got me first connected to Papa Zara of the Most High was through nature. Um, I would always look up to the sky and I would always think to myself that like many people are looking down and many people here, they're always looking down at their phones or like when they're walking outside. I don't think like people actually look up, but um, wow. like, I would always like think to myself that when, when you look up, that's when you really just see the majesty of Papan Zambi. And that's what really got me like questioning more of who he is because when I go walking in nature, I'll just see the beauty that's in it. And that's what really got me to like praise Papan Zambi more and want to know him more because you can see the work of his hands through all that like through all of his creation when you just look and observe so yeah that's it Matondo Ngeta Ngeta yeah, if there's no, no comment no question <clears throat> brother can you proceed no brother uh, Miguel was raising up a hand yes uh, sorry I'm Brought it tied up, I can turn my camera on right away. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a comment um, that I've heard from the Agikuyu. They say that, um, you know, when the missionaries came and tell them to close their eyes and pray, and they close their eyes, um, when they opened back their eyes, they, they had the Bible in the hand and their land was gone. Was taken from them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, inject that in there. <clears throat> yeah, that's real glad. That's what happened. Is why I have to. Yeah, like <laughs> as our sister Teresa said, watch and pray. So that's how. Maybe that would be our new way of praying. Wash yeah. and pray. Uh, yes, Sister Teresa? I want to inject this. You know, there's so many clues in the scripture. As I said, you know, as I'm listening to everybody and listening to the teaching, and, and it says, yes, watch and pray. 
But then another scripture comes to my mind. It says, looking unto. All these words were telling us how we should be praying. With, you know, when it says, looking unto um, Isaiah, we're supposed to be look, watching, looking and watching when we're praying, not you know, having our eyes closed as they taught us, well, we we're so deceived about so many things. This morning, a thought came into my heart, and it just made me cry. I thought we were so mentally, we have been so mentally oppressed. We don't know how to live. We don't know how to die either. Indeed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right now. I just but we're getting our life back we're getting yes. our life back we're choosing life and life in abundance that is good that Tatan Zambi is opening all our eyes our mindset to live according to him that's why we are all here sharing the little thing we know to all of you so that we may all be in, in the same page. No more slavery, no more mind set that is blocked. That Tanzam is among us to show us the truly way of worshiping him. <laughs> 